Hi, my name is Nate McClendon and welcome to Hear What I'm Seeing, where I invite all kinds of different creative people to come into the museum and explore some art and then find a way of expressing what that art says to them in the medium that they know. Uh, today I have with me as a guest Dr. Cora Cooper here from Kansas State University and she's here to give us a musical interpretation of a piece of art that she saw. Cora, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. So the first thing that I'd like to um, ask you is what was this process like where you had to find a piece of art and then be inspired by it and then find music to express that insp uh, inspiration? What was that like? It was, it was awesome. I, I loved doing it. And it was actually very easy because I had an immediate spark with the first artwork that I saw. <laughs> I just walked in the door and saw it there and, and, and that was it. So this is um, Enemy Alien Number no. 2 um, by Shima Mura. It's an amazing piece because it's, it's so strong. It gets across such uh, an emotional impact so quickly and in what seem like simple terms with the cartoon character. So when I looked at it, I immediately thought, this is about COVID. It's about isolation, and it's, you know, the whole thing, the one character at the top in color, the kind of shadowy character at the bottom. It all fit the sense of isolation and being trapped. You know, what we've all been through the last year, almost two years now, what that has put us all through and how we've had to come to terms with it. I had an immediate idea of what music would go with it as well. The piece is called Peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, <laughs> and it's by a uh, young composer, Jessie Montgomery. It was her reaction to lockdown and what did all this mean for our future and how did she come to terms with it personally, um, both in terms of, of being sad and what do you do with that sadness and does sadness have to be a negative emotion? The two of us really lean into the harmony and really lean into um, kind of the notes rubbing against each other, as one of my teachers used to say. Um, and the music really builds on that um, relationship or almost lack of a relationship between the two parts. when you're playing it is that you and the pianist are on two separate streams. You know, you're playing at the same time, but you're really in your own little worlds, like people in two apartments or something like that. Right. It is the, the, the angriest, saddest bit of music I think you'll ever find, and it goes, just goes through the gamut of emotions. Was it any different thinking about the process of putting that piece of music with the art? It really intensified it. Mm. It, it gave me a visual and it, 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 put a, it put a face to the sound. Yeah. Kind of a of, of a, a whimper almost, right? It just fades out to nothing. <laughs> 